Good morning. It's, uh, it's, it's an early morning here in the Squirrel Hill Farm. August 31st. It's the end of the month. Um, got a couple things here. I got my coffee. Ready to go in my favorite coffee cup. I'm not advertising for it, but I do like their coffee. And I love this big mug. <laughs> my wife got me the mug. And uh, I'm going to shed some, uh, shuck some loofahs out here this morning. And I, I want to talk to all the homesteaders and all the people I follow and the people that follow me. Oh my God, look at that cat. And this smells tree. What is he, five, six months old? That's the mama kitty. Oh, that's mama. <laughs> anyway. Back to the action here. I'm gonna chuck out these uh, couple of these loofahs. I got the other day we picked six of them down there. Got a really nice long one here, and uh, I want to show everybody how how I do it. Everybody's got a different way to do it, I guess. But I start right here at the flower end. Can you see that? Okay. See where the flowers dried up. And uh, what I do, I break it out. Just like that. And there it is, and I'll throw that down in the waste bucket. And I'm saving one bucket here for waste and one for the seeds. And right there, I'm eating the seeds right out of the, and you can see them falling out as I'm doing it. And there's gonna be maybe a hundred seeds or more in this. And what I'll do later, I'll get them all out of the bucket, I'll lay them out to dry, and then we'll put them away for the year for, for future use or sell maybe we do do a farmer's market stand in uh, spring bowl here and we can always use something like that product to sell then what I do I I just finished peeling these fibers fiber coat off and you can see the the loof is already coming out just from a, just the way it matures under that skin you get that skin nice and brown and it's ready to go There'll be a little bit of an end here that I'll have to cut off, but that's not bad. And uh, getting the skin off is not that hard to work. It just takes a little bit of time. Something I can do here, since I am on oxygen, I can run the tube out here on the deck, and I can sit here and do it. Um, I'll take these uh, pieces of hide here, or skin off the loof and I'm going to just mulch it back into the garden somewhere. Maybe right there at the arbor where they grew. Just organic matter. Hello little kitten, are you here to help? Did you want to help us? A little scooter? Did you want to be in the video? It's a little tough, this one is. Not bad. And I will wash these after I get them all done. I'll take them out there on the in the grass there and turn the hose on. And I'll wash them off real good, wring them out, and then let them dry. They're kind of a yellow color now, but they will brighten up a little bit. This one might have needed another day or so, but it's coming. gonna take a few minutes usually they don't take this long usually I can pull off nice long strips like that I don't see any bugs in this one I haven't really had a bug problem on them in the past we took these off and we're hoping the elders now will mature a little better. The plant won't need to feed these any longer. I do have some black spots in this one, but I think they'll wash out. I think that's just where stuff got through the hide. Maybe just from laying there on that table.
we had a couple inches of rain this week and that really helped with the plant growth down there, but it may also got the, the plant a little wet. Now these things, we use them in the kitchen quite a bit uh, for our own cells. We clean our eggs with, with them before we box them up to take to the for sale. Get it, you know, any. We don't try to get all the bloom off. We just try to get some of the nasty off. And these work real good and they're gentle. And, you know, they don't scratch the surface too hard on the eggs. You can, some people use them for beauty products. Um, some just use them for loof of sponges. I mean, if you get a nice clean one that long, wouldn't that make a nice loofah for you ladies in, in a shower? Got a little piece there that I gotta work at. But I'll take it right now. I think I got all the seeds out of this one. That spot there, I may have to cut that spot out to save it, that black. It's kind of stuck there. But I'll still get two nice pieces out of that when it's cleaned up. You can hear the seeds in this one. So, hmm. it's a beautiful morning for August there in Alabama. You don't get much weather like this. But you all know what it means at the end of August on a Saturday, especially if you're from the South. It's football season. And that is the main reason I want to make this video. I see my friend over at uh, Crystal Creek made his this morning. He was trying to do a live video. And uh, he made his declaration early today. So I'm going to make mine now. In this house, Auburn's the team. Now, come the end of the season, the national playoffs, we may change that to Roll Tide. But as far as it goes today, it's War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. Even the dogs are Auburn fans here. And we'll put their clothes on them later. But we'll go inside here in a little bit and we're going to make some salsa. We're going to enjoy some college football. It's about time for it. And I thank you for watching. I hope you like or dislike. It doesn't matter. Leave a comment and please subscribe. Here's Lufa number two. Uh, it peeled out a much better than that first one. Uh, it's nice and clean. There's no black spots on it. There's a couple seeds down here I can see still in there that I didn't get shook out. But see how most of the skin come off in one piece. Just It peeled out really nice. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get any more seeds out of it. Yeah. That's much better. This one will be a, a premium size one. It's got a nice feel to it. I may not cut this one up. I may leave it whole. And look at the, the seed channels there. That runs the whole length of it and the seeds lie down through there. So when I'm, you hear it shaking, that's what it's doing. It's hitting this on the inside like a maraca. And then when I bang it, it comes down to this little shoot and knocks out. Alright, thanks for watching.